the minutes, the seconds, the days and the months. But something happened in history that controls the time and that stopped the time, that reset the time 2021 years ago. What happened, it is recorded that the sun stopped shining for three hours. That there was an earthquake, people dying, and there was a resurrection. 2021 years ago, if you say, let me uh, elaborate, because you know, it's 19 hours and 45 minutes now. It's 30 days. It's nine months, 2022 years, sounds what? Something happened 2021 years ago that the Romans were ruling the earth for a thousand years. And what they did is they crucified the Son of God on the cross. When the Romans crucified Jesus Christ on the cross, the sun stopped shining for three hours. From noon until three, darkness came over the whole land. And about three o'clock, Jesus shouted with a loud voice, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Then Jesus cried out again with a loud voice and ended up his spirit. Then behold, the temple curtain was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook, the rocks were split, and the tombs were opened, and many bodies of the saints who died raised. And they came out of their tombs after his resurrection. They went into the holy city and appeared to many people. So when the Roman centurion saw that the earth, you know, the earthquake, the sun stopped shining for three hours, and people coming out of their graves after Jesus rose from the dead, the saints are the people that believe the non-believers didn't rise from the dead. These people were dead for hundreds and thousands of years. Decomposed bodies with uh, just bones, skeletons. But when Jesus rose from the dead, the believers rose from the dead as well. Isn't that awesome? I know I've been to many funerals. I've never seen anybody rose from the dead. My brother died. He's still dead. My dad died. He's still dead. And anybody else, any other man, never rose from the dead. But the Roman sword that the earthquake, the sun stopped shining for three hours, and that Jesus rose from the dead, they said, this is the Son of God. So the Romans eventually record the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you boys. In history, AD after death, BC before Christ. See, that's the facts. This is the reason why the Romans recorded Jesus, and our calendar and time is based on Jesus Christ. Because he reset the time. You know, we talked about these, these days that there's going to be a reset. Only God can reset time. Because, you know, God created time. Where does time come from? Because time controls you and me. So it's written, it is written, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth in how many days? How many days? Six days to be exact. And the seventh day he rested. How many days a week? There you go. Seven days a week. You know that song says, It's written all over your face. You don't have to say a word. You know, it's written all over our face. The truth is in our face. It's in the time. Yeah, and the seasons and the hours and the days and the months that God put it in place as a sign for you and me. As a sign that He loves you. As a sign that He came and gave His life for you and me. And He died on the cross. And He paid a price. You, your name was on that cross. When Jesus paid a price, He said, It is finished. It is complete. Finito. No more keeping of the law. That's the Old Testament. No more keeping of the Passover. Some religion, they say, oh, you've got to keep the Sabbath and the Passover. That's the Old Testament. The New Testament is the fruit of blood of Jesus. Jesus said, this is the new covenant in my blood. But now we can be forgiven through the blood of Jesus, not by keeping the law, not, you know, in the law, you know, they said Ten Commandments. But you, when you look into it and study it, it's over 300 
you know, uh, 300 things that he had to keep of the law. So we all fall short of keeping the law. We all fall short 